Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. Right here we've got the Rosignol Hero Elite Plus Ti. Um, this is kind of one of their consumer race skis, trickle down technology, trickle down performance from their FIS race skis. Uh, this one with the plus indication in its name is a little bit wider. So this ski is 78 underfoot. Uh, which is, you know, pretty much 10 millimeters wider than your traditional carving race skis. That means you can use it later in the day when things get chopped up, use it in softer snow conditions in general, uh, but you still get very, very snappy, strong carving performance. Um, so these use an ash wood core. Ash is a, is a material that you're going to often find in very high performing carving skis. Um, it's pretty dense. It results in a pretty stiff flex pattern, you know, and I think a ski with an ash wood core is typically not going to be suitable for an intermediate skier, but for advanced expert skiers, it provides, you know, a ton of responsiveness, tons of stability, very, very good way to start the construction of a ski like this. We also get tightenal construction, so we get tightenal laminates in these skis, as you'd see in their fist race skis, and we get line control technology too. So there's basically two metal struts that run down the middle of the ski um, and those are designed primarily for counter flexing so it's keeping the ski more glued to the snow so you you know if you were to take a a super high speed camera and film the forebody or the tip of a ski while it's in a car specifically on firm snow you'd see it kind of bouncing off the snow surface you know, in milliseconds. And basically every time that happens, you're losing, you're losing a little bit of control. You know, the edge is bouncing off the snow, so you can't tell it where to go. This construction allows Rosignol to really keep the ski on the snow surface, giving you more control and thus tracking your line a little bit better. So pretty darn cool construction. That's where we get that trickle down technology from their race skis. Um, shape is pretty much what you'd expect in a ski like this mostly camber underfoot, really no tail rocker to speak of whatsoever, just a little bit of rise back there, but very square, flat flat finish to the tail. Um, and then up here in the tip, we do get a little bit of tip rocker. Starts about right there where my hand is, a little bit more noticeable as you decamber the ski. Um, this 167 centimeter length has a 13 meter turn radius, so pretty darn quick. Um, very, very strong ski. As you tip it on edge, that tip rocker and the short radius turn really pulls you into a turn quickly. Uh, and these things want to go and they want to turn. Very, very rewarding for somebody that likes to just make as many carving turns as they can. Maybe not quite slalom radius cut on this ski, but pretty darn close. So you're going to be making a lot of turns out there. Um, again, it's got that stiffer construction, that burlier construction. So for some skiers, it might be a little bit of a handful. With the shorter radius, how much it wants to turn, this tail is gonna lock you in pretty good to that turn. So it can be kind of a tiring ski if you're not up for it. But skiers that want that just super rewarding carving performance, a ski that comes across the fall line with lightning quickness, they're gonna love this ski. Um, I personally really like carving skis that kind of get closer to this width range, a little bit wider on the carving, carving spectrum, um, just because they don't get bogged down as much. Uh, I like to generate really high edge angles when I'm out there. On a narrow ski, you're more prone to your boot catching, booting out, which can, not, it can be very little fun, uh, sometimes fun, but usually not fun. Um, and just having a little bit more width underfoot gives you a stronger, stronger platform to push against when the snow is not perfect. Um, not all of us are skiing just perfect race courses all the time, so having that little bit of extra width I think is really nice. Uh, you know, it's fair to say that you lose a little bit of edge to edge quickness, but I don't think many people are going to feel like this ski lacks any quickness. Uh, pretty darn strong in the edge to edge quickness department um, and just a blast to link carving turns on. Every time we get on these Hero Elite skis, we have a lot of fun. Uh, Rosignol's got strong race heritage and, and you can feel that performance when you get on their skis. Uh, so check this thing out on skiessentials.com. As always, let us know if you have any questions about it. 
And we'll see you guys out there carving some turns on just perfect groomers or not perfect groomers because we'll be on this ski.